I'm on my way to get my hair cut, as happens quite often, and I might even change the styling of it. I might go in all over, I'm not sure yet. But I saw an exhibition the other day that got me thinking about a time when my hair used to be not like this. In fact, when my hair used to be not even grey, and that was probably, I don't know, 30 odd years ago. The exhibition was a Hornby Hobbies exhibition for a little model, micro model thing they've done in Margate. And when I say micro model, it is a little model of sort of the Margate area done in micro. Now I did see a thing advertised about this a little while ago. The advert was that you could actually get yourself scanned and you could appear in this model. So the people in the model are local people who have had themselves had their bodies scanned and then they've been recreated in miniature. Which looked quite good. I don't know why I didn't get around to doing it. I missed it somehow. Um, I don't know, I forgot, I don't know, something happened. So it's on display at Margate Station at the moment. It includes the station, the Hornby Hobbies building, the seafront, a few other bits and bobs of the local area, including Dreamland and people seeing a concert or somebody or other. It's not as big as I thought it would be, to be fair, but it's still quite clever, quite good. But it also got me thinking about Hornby Hobbies. So for me, Hornby Hobbies was the place I started my career, or I say started a career, didn't start a career, first job. My first job was at Hornby Hobbies, um, which was filing little bits of metal for a little while until I upgraded myself to running a tool shop, which was running lathes and pressing machines. The thing is, I did end up leaving the Hornby Hobbies factory because I wanted to work in retail. Retail, much more interesting, computers and things like that were much more interesting to me than getting my hands covered in oil and grease every day, working on machines making metal parts and fixing machines that made metal parts. Although it was a skill, it wasn't something that interested me enough to keep me there. As I said, I ended up leaving and going to do what I really wanted to do, which was work with computers and work in retail. So whilst I'm at it, I've just had a check of the website on the QR code that's on the Hornby Hobby sign. And the actual miniature making, so we, where you can be part of the crowd, is actually still available if you're in certain places. One of them is abroad, so that's no good. But then there's the 27th of September and the 23rd of November. One of them's in Maidstone and the other one's at the National Rail Exhibition. It is still possible if you want to do it which is quite good. There's also a competition and some other bits and bobs to go with that exhibition, so that's quite interesting. I'm a Hornby HST, and nothing can catch me, catch me, catch me. So when I was working at Hornby Hobbies, they were still manufacturing up there. The factory produced trains for the train sets, track, that sort of stuff. We also produced a few of the cars for the scale electric sets. Um, some of the cars that you'll see in my scale that you video my vlog from a while back. We also did a lot of the painting and that sort of stuff, that spray booze and all those sorts of things. Now, today, modern day factory, they don't produce anything here. Everything's produced out in China and usually sent and assembled here. But the main use for that factory now is research and development. So they still design and come up with all the ideas for the trains or the cars especially the scale electrics there's a lot of stuff new stuff in the scale electrics lineup which they design up there so some of the other things there's a museum sort of a shop museum up there which is quite interesting they've also got another side to the factory the big side on the sort of the left side of the factory is where they're storing real sized trains so very very big full trains it isn't open to the public yet it will be at some point it's called a one-to-one -one collection i'll leave a link to the website down below for that as well as hornby hobbies and other things they're going to store full-size trains there as part of like a restoration project but as i said it, it's not open to the public yet although the building looks finished but i don't know when that's going to be done when funding's ready and all that sort of stuff now talking about toys i have added a few things to my collection shall we say uh, recently i've just added a couple of dunnies 
I haven't added any dunnies for probably year two years maybe because i'm very picky and i only like certain ones some of the cute ones i have said it before i don't like all the horrible nasty looking ones i like the nice ones to be in the cabinet so although these well this one's a cute one the other one's sort of a bit of a scary sort of santa with a sort of funny bone thing with bits on so but it's not that scary it does also state very clearly on the box that this is a work of art and it's not a toy like it or not, you are a toy. Maybe you don't like being one, but you are one. No, seriously, it is not a toy. Although I can imagine people would play with them, but they're not toys. They are collector's pieces and art pieces, I suppose. So, yeah. Also, collector's pieces and collector's things, strange enough. And carrying on from the last video when I said I needed to get two new pairs of vans, I did get another set of vans to go with the burgundy and grey ones. I've now also got a pair of blue camo ones, which I have changed the laces on. Those ones I changed the laces straight away as soon as I got them. I put in the green laces. The vans that I'm throwing away, the green ones, which have got a funny corner that's gone a bit naff, um, they had green laces, so I've taken green laces out and put them into new ones. Not the same, but it's a newer pair of Mr. Lacy laces, of course. So, yeah, I have two pairs of vans to make up for the two pairs of vans I got rid of. But I may still add, because I still keep looking, like you do. As I do with everything else, including the dunnies and, yes, other bits. Even scale electric stuff, if I see any. I will be doing more vlogs and more videos. I keep saying it. I have been a bit preoccupied with work. I have been a little bit off and a bit weird about doing stuff. Um, I don't get a great deal of viewers on these videos. It's more to watch videos that people watch, so... I'm, you know, I don't get put off by it, but it's just, it's, I don't know, sometimes it just slips on my mind, or as I said, I've got things going on in my head that, you know, make it a bit difficult to do, so I will do more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.